So I got home a little while ago from work and I had the brightest idea while I was sitting down in this chair two minutes ago and I was like maybe maybe I should do Amber Scholl's eyeliner on myself. It's pretty clear that I do not look like Amber. I mean she is flawless but one like I'm really curious to find out if I can do it because I have this white eyeliner and I think uh, a few months and number two if I can actually pull it off and we'll see I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna I'm not gonna shape my eyebrows because I did that like once before and I grew back but I got like razor bumps um, I have done this and as you can see like it grew back but I've been thinking about this for a while now and I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna like remove the hair from there to there I'm basically gonna remove half of my eyebrow I have done it I've purely done it because I was like curious to see what my face would look like if you know it wasn't like this if it was like lifted and if it actually like pulls your face like everybody says it does but first I have to get rid of my makeup believe it or not I am wearing makeup I have absolutely no eyebrows do you see that can you see that I have no eyebrows okay so I'm just gonna use um, this sorbet wipes to remove the makeup quickly and then we'll we'll get to it I didn't want to shave it because I was afraid like the bumps would come back so we're gonna use this the leg and body hair removal. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea because it's not for your face and I have a sensitive skin to begin with but um, if this goes badly then I'll, I don't know, I'll just sleep it off, you know. <laughs> I didn't even apply mascara this morning. I literally drew on my eyebrows and I put on a little bit of foundation and that is it. Then I went to work. <laughs> Just like screw it. I'm so happy to actually be sitting here because it's Saturday which means that my weekend has just started. I'm so happy. Okay, I think that is about done. I'm really scared to do this but I'm really really excited as well <laughs> but we'll see how this goes if this turns out okay and I don't end up burning my skin off and I'm just gonna keep doing this to be honest <laughs> oh there it goes there it goes bye hair let's put more if it's gonna start burning I'm just gonna take it off immediately <laughs> I'm stressed out, man. So it's too late now. Look, it's all good and well to shave off half of your eyebrow, but you know, I have to draw it on every single day. Otherwise, people are gonna be like, what happened? Are you okay? <laughs> Do you need some help? Okay, let's put a little bit there. Not all my lashes. Shit. Okay. Three minutes, and then we'll see. We'll take it from there. Everybody at work is like, "When did you get your ears pierced?" No, 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 no. Well, you know, like it was really sore, and yeah, <laughs> it's fake. Although I like the look of this, like I only had my ears pierced um, the time I got these, like these holes. And um, the time I got like a septum piercing, no, not a septum piercing, an industrial piercing, the one that goes like this. And then I took it out one night because I was just so sick and tired of like lying either on your back or on your side. And it's like sore because you, it's just pushing into your skull and your ear is just like screaming for help. You can see there like I have a little keloid from that and you're on top as well did really like that piercing but I mean I'm not gonna sleep with it and it's really uncomfortable <laughs> best part of this is you can just take this out 
and the day is over and you can just put them back in in the morning. It's been three minutes, but I think I should leave it a little bit longer just to make sure that this shit actually works. It's not burning or anything. Whenever I get bored, I'm just being at home, but I don't want to go out because I'm antisocial AF. This is the shit that I do. <laughs> Starting to tingle, maybe I should, uh, it's been five minutes now, let's see. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Oh, oh, but you don't take off that hair. Okay, okay. I woke up like this. Oh my goodness, I did it. <laughs> Am I regretting it? I don't know yet. Let's see, Let's see. So if you're one of those girls who want, like me, if you want to actually wake up and do makeup every day, but you wake up and you're like, and you just end up going to work without properly combing your hair and because I do that, let's be honest here. I think this is a very good way to get yourself to stop being lazy. <laughs> because if you wake up and you're like, holy shit, then you have to do makeup. You have to fill this part in because who, who goes to work like this? I have my tweezer. I'm just going to tweeze these little hairs that did not come out. Wow, this is really hard. Maybe let me get my mirror. I can already see my mom and my dad's face when I walk out of my room now. I feel like you have so much more space to be like creative now. If you want a freaking eyebrow that's straight as hell, then you just do that. If you want an eyebrow that's like nicely arched or whatever, then you just do that. If you want a normal brow, then you're just like, oop, normal brow. I'm kind of forced to do my makeup every day now. It's just what I've been wanting to do for a while. And by a while, I mean literally years, but I'm just too lazy. <laughs> I'm not a morning person at all like if you wake me up with peeping or you shake me awake like the chances that i will kill you is it's getting close to like 95 percent. you know what i'm saying like don't if you want to wake me up be gentle about it you know i remember at the beginning of me and my boyfriend's relationship and that was like 2015 he is a very hyper person right and i've always loved my sleep always everybody who knows me knows that i can sleep for days like if you would leave me alone i would sleep and i would take a nap in the afternoon and then i would have no trouble falling asleep again at night time i could just sleep for days i think it was the first time he actually slept over at my house and he slept in the other room i wake up with him standing like over me like his legs are his feet are like here because I'm lying on my back, right? And his feet are here and he's just shaking the bed and he's like, wake up! Because he thought it would be funny. He almost died. <laughs> um, and it's not because I wanted to be mean. I was just like, what? Why? Why would you do that? And he never did that again. I think he, he saw a whole other side of me. <laughs> I was just like, no, don't mess with my sleep, man. But ever since then, he's kind of gotten used to the fact that I love my sleep. Like, I will do what I have to do, but if I get home and everything that I needed to do is done, chances are I'm going to go take a nap or something. Yeah. Let's go get my parents' reaction quickly. Hello. Okay. Come on, warm. It's a bit warm. What's Anna's opmerkzaam? Die. Die. 
to do a voiceover for this part of the video because I don't have a mic um, with my phone and I have a mic here at my computer you could not hear anything that I was saying so I just decided it was easier to try and do a voiceover so um, I put concealer on my lid and at first I put some tape to try and help me <laughs> do my eyeliner because I hadn't done it in so long but as you will soon see it did not work out as it was supposed to I had to redo everything um yeah so i was just blending out the concealer um and then i started out with just drawing a line um it was going good at first but then i got a little bit shaky <laughs> and i accidentally jabbed myself in the eye um as you can see i was trying to fix it but it was already goners so i realized that i had to redo everything um i had to start again from scratch which is okay, um, so I just kind of decided that I would do it without the tape, and it went better that time. I don't have a very steady hand, so this is really hard for me, but um, as I think as soon as you get like that straight line out on the, the outer edge, then you should be good to go. Being precise and just being patient about it. bit more of a liquid liquidy form of an eyeliner just because that one was very transparent and I wanted it to be a little bit more um, clear and precise and yeah And for some reason I was talking to myself literally the whole time. This was also the first time that I'd ever done like my inner corners with eyeliner so I was struggling quite a bit because I don't actually know how to do that on my <laughs> eye but I think I did okay. So yeah, I ripped off the tape on the other side because I figured it would just be easier. Um, and that's exactly what I did. So I just repeated the process on the other side and then I went in with the rest of my makeup. Oh. 
this is also totally not related to this video but as you can see there um, I have like a brick wall well it's not actually a brick wall I have like um, a wall there and we just kind of painted the bricks on, <laughs> on there um, using tape and stuff and I was thinking about doing something on that wall but I'm not sure um, what I actually want to do I know I have like fairy lights that I want to put up but I don't actually know what else I want to put up so if you have any ideas if you're good with um, decorating stuff and decorating like rooms and stuff please leave a comment down below that you would think it would actually work with my wall there and would actually like tone in with the gray curtains and the white walls and stuff um, I like yellow as you can see like by my night lamp it's really skew <laughs> but um, I love yellow I love it so maybe something with yellow and fairy lights that would be awesome So yes, this was m just me filling in my eyebrows and trying to get a feel for how it will look on my face now and um, I think it turned out pretty good. I was using my normal eyebrow pencil that I use from Maybelline and um, I saw that you know once it got to the part where it was just skin where there was no more hair, it was a lot lighter so you could actually see the difference and I just went in with um, another dip powder that I had from Essence that was a lot darker to just make it um, blend more. Yeah, I ended up doing my foundation off camera. As you can see here, I'm just applying normal mascara from Maybelline and yes, that was me trying to figure out how I'm going to get like the eyes super smoky and dramatic. So, yeah, I was literally rationalizing in my head, how am I going to do this? How am I going to recreate this look and actually make a success <laughs> out of it? I was just applying wispy lashes from um, that I got at Clicks. I really love them. I've been using, reusing them for I think this is the fifth time, and you can use them up to 15 times if you actually look after them. So, yeah, I really love those lashes, and I love the effect that they give. Further, I was filling in my waterline with just a plain black and I was going over the band um, of the fake lashes to just make it blend in with the actual eyeliner.
And I also just took like a black um, on a brush. I don't even know what you call that brush. <laughs> but um, I was just blending my lower lash line to try and make it look more dramatic. So I think it worked. I was contouring my forehead, I was contouring my cheeks, and I was contouring my jawline. I also tried to contour my nose, which I've never actually done successfully before, but I think it worked out this time. There, I was just applying some highlighter um, on the bridge of my eyebrow, like my eyebrow bone, and then the inner corners of my eyes, and then on my cupid's bow, and yeah. I went for a little bit of a new look. Um, I know that Amber Scholl's makeup look there, like she had a little bit more pink in her lipstick, but this is the only color that I had related to that look that was remotely even the same color or close to her color. So yeah, I used that one. What do you think of this look guys? Let me know in the comment down below and let me know if there are any other looks that you would like me to do. I love doing these looks. Um, as you can see, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I mean, it's really fun for me to do this anyway. Thank you for watching the video guys, see you in the next one.